So students, we've looked at uh, the definitions of a network. We've noticed that a network will have um, nodes and it will have arcs, and those nodes may be connected by a directed arc. And uh, we've started to have a look at the quickest way to get from point A to the destination point. And uh, so that's a path. What we're going to look at today is a minimal spanning tree. So we are thinking more about how do we efficiently join up each node in the network. So a, uh, a tree, as I said, is different to a path. A tree is just needing to connect up each node uh, in a network. It does not need to be a path. Uh, a minimal spanning tree algorithm is the most efficient way then to connect each of these nodes to its neighbor. So we'll look at this algorithm here. So what we need to do is first of all, just randomly select a node and connect it to its closest neighbor. Then you're going to choose an unconnected node closest to the connected node and con connect those two nodes. And then we're just gonna keep repeating until all of the nodes are, are connected. So we'll do one soon. Now I've got these two networks here. They're both the same, but I just want to show you how it's done. So we, first of all, we wanna choose a random node. Now H looks nice and small or nice in the middle. And we're just going to see what's the smallest node. Is it five, 15 or uh, 0.5? So sorry, the smallest arc. So I'm just connecting H up to P. So we've taken 0.5 of a kilometer. Now we want to go to the next smallest. So it's either five or five or 15. Now I could choose either at random, but I think I'll do this one here. So we've taken 5.5 kilometers now. Uh, let's have a look at the next one. I've got a choice of 15 or 15 to connect up this. I'm going to go this way. So we've got 20.5 to connect that node up to make the tree. And then finally, this is the next smallest one. So we have a total of 30.5 kilometers to connect this up. So this might be uh, a way to connect all the towns up. And it was saying, well, which is the best way to bitumen all of these uh, towns? And so if we do need a, a wet weather path, for example, in the times of flood and go on the bitumen, that would be an efficient way for an, a council to uh, connect all the roads up. Now I'm going to do it again and just show you that uh, we can do this slightly differently and still get the same answer. So we'll pick a node at random. So in this case, I'm going to go down to S. And uh, because we chose this five kilometer here, uh, I'm going to choose the other one and see if we get the same answer. So we go S to P. So that's the shortest way to P. Uh, now we're going to go down to H because 0 0.5 is short. So we've got 5.5 kilometers. Now we can also go this way. It didn't matter whether I chose this one or this one, but uh, just to be a little bit different and prove that we can do it, and down here. So we've got 5.5, 20.5, and then 30.5 kilometers. So that will be an alternative way to draw the minimal spanning tree. The answer is still the same though. So both of those are correct. And uh, this is a uh, just a more of a formal way of drawing it. I've just uh, inked it in with Microsoft Word or, or with the pictures. So let's apply the minimal spanning tree to uh, connecting different towns with bike paths. So we want to just connect the most efficient way each of these towns with a bike path. We've got an activity table and last lesson we learned from how to go from an activity table to a network diagram. Now we're going to uh, calculate the minimal spanning tree for this. So remember we start at a random node and then we find the 
nearest closest one. So what's the shortest uh, arc? We've got seven, we've got three, we've got six. Well, it's got to be the three. So we've got a three there. So A to C. Now we've also got uh, two. That's going to have to be the next closest one. So here's our two kilometers from C to E. The other options are four, six, seven, eight. So, yep. So let's put in this one. So that's going to be plus two. Now we look around and see what's the next closest. I've got, I don't need to, con um, I need to connect D and I need to connect B. That's all we need to do now. So I've got four here or four here. I could go either from C to D or E to D. So let's put that there. Plus four. So we're on a total of nine so far. And then last of all, we just need to connect B. Looking at it, this, we've got an eight, we've got a three, we've got a seven. So this three is going to be the shortest. So then we can connect this up like so. And that's three kilometers. So we have three and two is five, plus four is nine, plus another three, and that's going to equal 12 kilometers. So the least distance required to connect all of these towns up with a bike path using a minimal spanning tree is 12 kilometers. And uh, I'll get you to copy this one in and that's uh, the prettier example there. Once you've copied that in, I'd like you to uh, have a go at exercise 8B. Um, that's on page 438 and 400 and down to 440.